my name is Daily Fix and welcome to the fourth part of our X4 Foundation series. First and foremost, thank you all so much for the participation and activity on the previous episodes. It, it really, really helps me a lot. Oh dear lord, what the heck? Okay, um, oh no, that is bad. Oh, that is really bad. Where are you? Yeah, it's him. Who is attacking? No, I'm, I'm going to tell him. There's a lot of these fighters nearby. He is actually being harassed. Right, are you? Let's quickly take a look. So what do you want to be if you get one of those uh, notions? Make sure... Are you going to be seeing why? Now, we are currently in Grand Exchange. And I think this is the reason. We have ourselves a plunderer. And I believe, out of the top of my hat, plunderers usually are skill plate packed. It's the same with um, Marauders. I think it's Marauders. I th yeah, I believe it is Marauders. So, yeah, I'm not going to let them steal my hull parts. Because I really need the hull parts. So, unfortunately, by doing anything but interacting with that pilot, uh, you just lost... Oh, actually, that uh, changed that nice. Okay, interact. I'm going to say uh, escape. Just go escape, dude. Uh, let's unpause. Let's take a look what he's doing because the AI is absolutely brilliant. Believe, believe me, you want to really babysit this guy. And here we go. This plunderer is in deal, indeed a skill plate pack. So we are really not really going to be bothered by this. But do you want to do one thing? This flea override. Delete it. Because he's going to be an idiot. And he is going to go opposite direction of this. Well, if he just charges in. there. Look at this. Look at this. I think this guy really made a bad mistake. And he is indeed now being assaulted. Now, you don't really see it yet here in the shield. But this is that one guy. And there we go. There's the rest. They are all going to be harassing this guy. <laughs> yeah, you made a bad, bad choice, my man. Now, on the other side, look at that. By the time he's there, he's, he's gone, you know what? Shields are going down. Yeah, we actually do need to make sure we'll get a bit of uh, a security force going. And we need to very... Very be careful with that because you know the Taladi and the Ministry of Finance are quite weird sometimes. And even though if you're hunting down those guys, it sometimes can cause a negative standing. It's stupid, I know. What is that for a payment? Where did that come from? Two and a half thousand? Are you joking? Uh, venture. Oh, wait a minute. That is. Wait, no, my venture is doing. That's not a profit. That's that's a joke. What are you doing? Oh, he bought that. I think he just took too much money and the price went down when he got there. Interesting. So, yeah, there is a lot going on. Um, and that, that pirate really messed up my intro. Look at this. We are currently going to be constructing our very first station. Now, uh, why did I not want this ship to drop... It's 702 hull parts. Well, it's because we kind of need them over here. We are going to be building one of these stations I really, really love the most. Uh, and I, I'm not sure if everyone would use them. I kind of do. Because the, this is going to be a solid storage. And why solid storage? Let's go into the configurate station. So we can see. Now these are small. There's a very, very simple base. And eventually this is not going to be enough. 
This is going to be storing ores and silicons. Or just ores or silicons. I haven't decided yet. We have a standard docking area with three mediums and place for six smalls. Now the small slots eventually will be used for launching drones. Uh, especially security drones. The security drones are definitely going to be dropped out of here and will uh, delay. Is that a good word for that? Yeah, they will delay uh, any attackers. Now, what also was going to be happening is the following. We need to start setting up our very first Empire trade rule because I do not want this station to buy in ores and silicon and trust me it will actually happen i've seen it happen in my split campaign i believe so let's go over to policies i've not changed anything over here so everything is still on we'll get a shit ton of notifications let us create a new trade rule and this is going to be um let's call it harvest harvest this is going to be restricted to all factions and we will not set it up as a default for anything. This is going to be probably one of three trade rules that I like using. One is harvest, the other one is distribution and the other one is going to be souls or cells or whatever. Uh, what I need to do is make sure we do not loop the trade routes or the trade rules and I've seen it so many times i've actually done it myself where i say my trade rule is my own empire that sounds nice but you will lack a lot of flexibility in your own empire this is still my own empire i know it's my own empire but yeah this is going to be used for the buying in um we will only allow my faction as a harvest option it will go for ice water all of the gases all of them will have this so let us set that up like this is it say yeah safe trade route there we go and once this station is built and it's currently under construction let's take a quick peek uh i don't think it will take that long uh we can actually check the times i believe uh, other modules? No. Uh, I wish that they would actually set all of the times, uh, the construction times in there. Let's see if we can actually bleep that over in here. Construction times is estimate build is 4 minutes and 18. Definitely in this episode we will have ourselves a base that will be doing all of the... Uh, how do you... Damn it. English. English today is not too good. Uh, all of its distribution. So we need ourselves a manager. Now I've also... I've, I've done something and I, I'm always afraid about doing something. And that's I put my three star guy over here. And I put him on an advanced trade. This is not going to be necessary. And the reason that is not going to be necessary is because they will only deliver to this station. So this is going to be just local auto trade uh, and we'll just go with silicon for now let's confirm that this is not something we'll have to set up in a second uh, and i want you to do that not in grand exchange but do that in 18 billion and i will actually remove this guy because i'm going to be setting him up currently just as a manager these bases that we're going to be making is I think one of the easiest way to level up a manager. There is a lot of stations that require uh, the, the tier 1, the tier 0 um, resources. So your ore, your silicon, your water, or your ice and, and stuff like that. So there's going to be a lot of traffic going in there. And he is going to be responsible for that. He's checking everything. Yeah? So he will level up quite fast. The more ships you have to him. The faster he will level. And I will definitely use that guy eventually to do other stuff. But right now I kind of don't want to get my three star pilot. Almost four star pilot killed. Because he's in a medium mining ship. You know, being a joke. So let us just set that up. I have a few guys that have multiple uh, 
crew. Let's take a look. You have three. Now you have three as well. Where is my other? I usually go with three. So my Kestrel has some able crew members. Let's just go to the personal tab. And say, okay, who's going to be my captain and who's currently not a captain? So he is currently a two star. He is doing a bit of management. But that morale, holy crap, that morale is perfect. This will definitely help with his management skill. And, and one is going to be enough. One jump currently. Most of our satellites to any of the uh, star bases, any of the bases we, we know is very close. So you are going to be the new... Uh, the, the captain... Actually, it doesn't really make sense what I'm talking about. I'm talking out of my ass currently. Sorry for that. Uh, we're going to be allocating this guy to be the new captain. Uh, we will promote you no will work somewhere else for me and you're going to be working i think it's this guy as a captain let's go back to that particular ship let's see you have five now uh able crew member yeah okay you're here let's sort by not captain there we go this guy I want you to work for me here. As a manager. Like I said, I don't want to lose the guy. Did I still do that correctly? Yeah, there we go. Piloting. Oh, I know. Some people will be upset. Like, oh, you need to buy yourself a trade ship, man. You need to learn trade. You know, that's fine. It's correct. I should. Well, I'll be... Bloody damned. We're being attacked. By a hive ship. He is currently... An idiot. Can I get... The problem is if, if, he, if he starts fleeing... Yeah. Then he will start using his shield. And when he uses his shield... He will die. Can I just do something differently? Can I tell you to dock over there? Behavior, dock, go. Now he's flying directly towards it. What I want him to do is don't die. That would be a problem for me. Now I think this is a gas, so he should be able to get in here. Shields are going down. Cruising speed. Come on, man. You need to get the heck away from that. We need a... Yeah, we. I think we need to start investing in that security force. Faster than I initially wanted. Uh, let's get my Castrol... Over there. I can't do much because, quite frankly, I... You know, I kind of lack weaponry. Currently, he is not doing the worst job. So, if he can get close enough to that station, he should be fine. Now, the first storage is currently being built. Let's take a look at station overview. Drones work for select trade west. Now, here we go. We need to go with ore. And I want to go with uh, silicon. Confirm those. Uh, we will create a buy offer and we will just say, yes, this is going to be harvest. Only my faction is allowed to make a delivery. Well, the rest is all going to be the same. We will create a sell offer uh, unrestricted. I don't care. Also for the price, it, it, it will fill up and eventually we'll start selling. We will be the ones selling, so we will get ourselves another ship doing all of this silicon is going to be the absolute same thing harvest uh, don't set anything up uh, other than that and there we go sell order once the station is completely done great you don't even need to give him money you know it doesn't need to have money it's it just goes with my stuff now currently this hive mind and i'm actually surprised that i did not get a report about that uh, hive but here we go here there's a 
patrol coming in right now. And they will be dealing with those guys. But I think eventually we want to have like a group of uh, one medium and five smalls to go after these guys as a patrol. But that patrol doesn't really work unless the sector is yours. So yeah, unless they change that and I'm unaware of the changes, but I don't think they actually did that. Is this now done? Uh, storage is going to be done in 1 minute 30, so that would be cool we'll sign everyone up we don't need to go to that hive because he is a goner however we don't have to do any of this we need to do one thing though and uh, one thing alone we are going here we're going to be buying ourselves uh two new ships which are also going to be storage but these are going to be different so my usually my solid harvest uh as you see over here solid harvest layout has combat uh, engines because you want them to be fast in asteroid belts so because you have seen the piloting right you have seen the piloting oh my god uh you want them to be fast in there however we do kind of want him to be fast in traveling we will give him uh, combat engines because they will just turn faster we give him some shields uh he does not require that actually we're not going to give him a forward weapon at all I don't want him to face any, any enemies. Uh, because usually that will end up very poorly. Or shall we just go with the shard battery? If he needs to defend himself, he can. But this is definitely not a combat ship. We can actually just do that maybe. Let's take a look how expensive that would be. Uh, we need shard. I like shard. Actually, I, I like the argon weapons more. Uh, which I completely am oblivious about the name. Um, yeah, can't, can't reach it, it's fine. Uh, Docking Mark 1, Long Range Scanner, Basic, Targeting Computer Extension. That is when they drop like, uh, how do you call them, like like uh, containers. You, don't, you kind of don't need this on this one. Uh, however, we are lacking an advanced electronics. What has advanced electronics? Well, weaponry. Okay, no forward weapons. However, that will mean that I can only make one. Well, first thing is, we're going to be saving this one as our solid distribution. Mark one. Add to shopping list. I kind of do want to make two of them. Even though we are lacking some advanced electronics. Here we go. Let's start putting those orders in. Let's take a quick look at our base. Who is currently getting its docking made. Um, in my constructions, I usually do not start with... Uh, let's configure it. I usually don't start with a docking area. I usually start with like a cross... And then put everything on. The reason I do that is if I were to remove this section and replace it with like a medium or a large, it won't destroy the entire base. If I want to change my docking areas, it don't it won't destroy the entire base because the first thing in build uh, is the one that will actually destroy the entire base. Which in let's take a look. I'm hoping go is going to be the cross connector. Like I, 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 bought, I built this like I think 30 minutes ago, and it took me that long to actually get the goods in. Yes. Once this is done, in 10 minutes we are in business. We are really in business. Let's get towards our solid harvester who is sitting here doing nothing. There's some turning computer. Let's not. Let's go to say, yo mate, you can go back doing your auto, auto stuff. That guy is dead, but we definitely need to pay attention to that. Castrol. I found another data vault. I was actually there when that attack happened. And my brain responded and started sending my Castrol over there. You don't need to do that, especially if there's so many other bases in by. What's this? That is that beacon. The rest, done. Some lockboxes, some satellites. Yeah. Well, what I also did is I went around the Grand Exchange placing all of the satellites... And what also will happen is I will do I will start doing more missions um, and, and keep them in. Because I can talk for an hour easily, but I want to keep things interesting. So I'll, uh, 
Start doing the data vault. I think you've seen enough data vaults, so I won't show it. And I will start picking up some missions. And we'll just do the missions until this base is done. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll meet you when I start picking up a mission. Okay, so I just finished the data vault. Uh, we got ourselves an Encyclopedia entry and uh, we got some, some money. There's another thing that I did in between. I told this Vanguard to go and repair or actually just uh, get some better stuff going. So we can actually and also rename him to distribution. So I know what they're doing. He's also going to be on a um, well, actually, this is the first ship that we had on the uh, the repeat order to buy and sell. Uh, we'll keep that going. I have two ships then because I found uh, look at this silicon wafers for 177. Now we were currently buying them in to 40. So uh, hey, selling that for let's take a look. That was over here, I believe, for 423. Now, that, that brings the Taladi and me up. That's going to be extremely good. Now, what's going on with this particular ship? He is doing ore. And he's on silicon. Yeah, that doesn't work like that, mate. You need to be... <laughs> if you're mining ore, if you're getting ore, you don't go to silicon. Uh, you are on silicon, yeah, silicon, you are on ore, interesting. Uh, then you need to be on actually silicon, although I don't think this will... I think it's done, yeah. There we go, it is completed, finally, finally. Now, we have our solid distribution mark one. Oh, wait, I do have a mission here, so let's let's get going. Mass okay, we need to kill four of them and we're going to be extremely careful. I kind of don't want to get my, you know. Alright, it's two. That is a criminal. You, come here. Now, sometimes they glitch out, and I think this is one of them. I definitely am hitting this guy. He just refuses to take any damage. That could be a problem. Uh, we'll check out what they've dropped. Uh, we just need to hope they'll spawn. And there actually is one. There we go. That is indeed a criminal. Let's be careful this time. I, like, like I said, I don't want to hit the station. Yeah, yeah, I'll spare you. I'll spare you the nuisance of a lifetime. Here you go. Uh, we got some steak. Fuel container. Oh, that's just absolutely perfect. Ministry of Finance. Okay, so let us start by doing what I should have done after which, and I completely forgot. Ah, I got a lot of this junk. Okay, drop all illegal. That is one. And we are going to be visiting our own station. So, set guidance to object. I kind of do want to take, if possible. A. Let's go. I do not. Just be so careful. And don't shoot these guys. You know, you'll ruin your own day. I've, I've, we've seen it. Uh, although I still think I did not hit anything illegal. It's maybe because I'm shooting the drones. I'm not sure why that's going. It didn't used to work like this. Uh, that it start launching security drones. And then thanking me, of course. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Autopilot, Autopilot let's go. Please don't Crank, trigger. Mineral, okay, well, that's just a sentinel. All right, that's Vanguard. fine. Uh, we're going here. We're going to be... I'm, I'm definitely going to be taking a picture. Now, this guy, did we add the manager? Uh, yes, we did. Okay. Let us take all of my harvest. And assign you... Mining for Commander Epsilon. 
These guys are now mining for this particular fella. Let's go over here. I want to take a look at the overview. Uh, is this even? It is even. Automatically. Yeah, I don't think it will change. Uh, now, for the selling, and it will take a tiny bit of time for this to actually make money. We need to go into, and it seems like this other distribution guy is docked. Am I getting attacked? No, I was in the jump gate. Wow. Whew. Entering Grand Exchange. Hey, are you ready? Okay, you're ready. Let's put you back up on the trade route. Close trade. We we know. We we know. We don't need to anymore. Uh, go over here. Let's go to repeat orders. Confirm. Buy. Actually, we'll start in this. Because there is a lot of cheap stuff going on. Buy in here. The silicon wafers. Come on, mate. Sometimes these drop-down menus are so damn small. Add to 40. Yeah, and we're selling it to 80. Confirm. Now, uh, we'll immediately start adding the others. Like there. Like one over there. And they're actually selling them, so... I was asked to drop my cargo. Alright, what's going on there? Distribution mark one. Now, he doesn't have anything, but you... Wait, you... Oh, it's this guy. There we go. Pillager. Okay. Well, you're actually heading towards... Where? Yeah, you're docking... I think at the bloody wharf. Oh, that's funny. No, that's not true. You're actually taking... All the way over there. Yeah, we, we need to invest in a bit of a security force. I'm hoping we don't need to protect him. So, I'm going to tell him... I think if we... Maybe if we just let him go... He will continue his work. If the, there we go. Attack is being oh, oh stop. Do not attack. Go. And there is actually a Kestrel. Maybe we should attack these guys. If we can get them to jump their ship, that would be They're not really a I think these are like the flying bricks. The Minotaur Raider. Okay, he is actually on its way again. I don't like it when they start attacking my, uh, my 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 repeat guys. Absolutely annoying. Anyways, we did complete. Yeah, we got four locations here, and now I'm going to tell you to sell silicon wafers at the price of two eighty. Confirm. Autopilot disengage. I'm, I'm considering, I'm definitely considering adding um, a few ships to these wings. Because they actually do make me a lot of money. And if they can just uh, protect, then that would be great. Like, I would just go and just do, uh, no, that would transfer crew. Because I'm actually piloting, I can't do all of the options. But, okay, that's fine. Um, we're actually very, very close. Let's take a look at the station. Trading station. Trading station. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. Like I said, man, it's it's very tiny. It's nothing special. But I, I, I love it. It's definitely a station that will do us. Oh, it will make us a lot of money, I can tell you that. Let's see where I kinda want to go with the planet. Background. Bit of sun. Okay, enough shown. Uh, let us dock up. Actually, do we need to? Do we need to dock up? I don't think so. Uh, my hut. But yeah, this is our very first 
creation and I'm happy about that uh, we have the solid distribution uh, these guys are going to be trading for commander so every or they will bring in these two guys they will trade and they will go on alpha so they pick up the wares and they will go to all of these places that need it. That needs to, we need to make sure. Let's open up trade. Let's get rid of silicon wafers for now. Do we have satellites at all of the places? And it seems that we do not. There is a silicon refinery over here that we need to go and place a satellite. Can we, yeah, close trade. Go over, you know, go over there. Uh, we'll head over there. I can't wait to um, for that station to make money and level up. What is the level? What's the current level of the manager in here? Uh, he is currently at level 2. I'm going to keep track on how long it will take for him to level up. And we do want to make sure that we to keep track on how much or how fast these guys will actually fill up. Okay, where are you? You're currently mining something. He's currently set as a miner. He knows that he knows. This is actually the advanced um, mining. You have the the local auto mining. This is the advanced auto mining. It will. You can set up gates. You can set up wares. Uh, so if you have a three-star pilot into one of these, this is what you'll actually get. And these guys will just go ahead and sell uh, two systems away. That's a one, two, one. Uh, that means that we can go one, two, all the way over here. We can actually go one, two, all the way. So we need to make sure that we start placing satellites in Profit Center Alpha and Bright Promise. Kind of, I'm not sure if I want to go into Black Hole Sun or in the, um, the Vic, Vic Syndicate territory. also think this this might not be the best way to go there uh, we'll just see what happens we might eventually lose some ships we'll see what happens so these guys that they're, they're doing they're minding their own business how expensive would it be to actually get ourselves a better ship buy ship let's take a look if do we want a small like, I am currently at plus 13. That really has, you know, a few positives. This ha this is a sad excuse for a ship. It's a scout. Yeah, that makes sense. The buzzard has... Ooh, that's five. No, three weapon slots. Do we have more? The Vanguard, huh? Two weapons, two shields. Okay, let's let's take a look. Wow, yeah, that's not very exciting. Yeah, the hull is getting better, but still, it's it's only three weapons, and it would cost me two and a half million. How about medium? We have the frigate and the gunboat. The frigate, this is, I think I used to call it like the flying brick. And the gunboat is not so special either. Lots of turrets. I'm going to assume it's quite slow still. Ah, uh, that's a decent amount. They usually equip them with, I think, uh, plasma or launches. Let's take a quick look. Yeah. Torpedo launches. Don't want to be the launch. And this one, I don't want to fly this at all. This this is an absolute joke of a ship. Yeah, not going to happen at all. Not going to be flying a uh, flying brick. Not for 8.3 million. No bloody way. How about I don't think it actually is, but how about the Ministry of Finance? I don't think they'll have a lot of different options for us. Yeah, just the frigate, the Osprey, as well as the... Yeah, the gunboat. Uh. So I might need to get this ship. Like I said, it's not the best, but 
for our current relation. Uh, this one. Yeah, we need, I think, like, plus 10 to get into those ships. Uh, it seems like we, that is the only option we have available for us. So, yeah, uh, we'll just have to make sure that we save up and get ourselves a new ship. Because this, this is a scout, I believe. Autopilot disengaged. Yeah, I don't think you can do a lot of pounding either. Uh, but if I... I'll fly to a, a shipyard myself in a second. Let's drop a satellite. And are there missions that we could do? Because now, now we have a reason to actually, you know, not spend money. Also, the magpie. Do you remember the magpie that we got? I uh, decided to actually put it to use. He's currently here failing orders. That's great, isn't it? Absolutely amazing how well he's doing. But then again, the Sunrise Factory is actually making money. I'm not giving it any more money. He is slowly making money. He is... This is too low. Put that back on 17. Put that back on 54. That should actually start working again. Not using that. Is there a way that we want to do? We could do the... Well, we could try to get Bosta of uh, um, uh, Del Busta, but I need to get some um, mines and some uh, data things, which I, of course, cannot remember the name of. 1.1 million. That is not going to be enough. We need two and a half million. This this will start working. I promise you that. Okay, missions. Uh, into thin air. pre the fire. I can't do this one. I would love to do it. Uh, it will give you a very healthy bonus. But into thin air is no longer available to us. That's that's damn annoying, actually. All right, we'll go uh, scout for a mission, and I'll uh, I'll meet you guys back when I actually do find myself a mission that I can do. So, while we were flying, I took a, bi a bit of a look on what kind of a ship, of how I wanted to equip that one ship. And it's actually not that expensive. 1.8 million. And the Talali have a weapon, I think it's the Muron, Muron Charger, that does a lot of shield damage. Uh, actually, quite a nice weapon if you want to do a bit of pirating. Because you just immediately shoot through the shields. I mean, like, absolutely, like, destroying the shields. Like, we'll, we'll go and take a quick uh, look. I did save it, so I don't have to do it. Mine. So, into weapons. I think it's the Muran Charger. Actually, uh, damage to hull. Wow. Um, a lot of shield damage. A lot of hull damage. But these do... Oh, these are the charging weapons. Yeah, no, these are the charging ones. It's the one from the hop I really like. Uh, damage over, yeah, damage over time. So the Muron charge is not really what I want to go with. So if you have suggestions about this particular ship, like, and we're actually talking about this particular ship, guys, how would you equip it? Because what, well, I might as well just ask you. Usually with a split, I usually go with shard. It's very up close and personal, but it does do, you know, quite a bit of uh, damage. But it has spread, and spread in a combat situation could be bad. Because you have bounce off, and bounce off might you know, kind of damage your allies, and they kind of don't appreciate that. Plasma cannons are too slow. Bolt is a lot of pew, but not a lot of bang. Uh, laser emitters, I, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's a constant stream. The build up is great, but ah, uh, it's just I think it's difficult to use. So let me know what you would possibly go with. Like I'm considering maybe doing one of the Muon charges because of the high damage output. But I could as well just go with three pulse lasers. Yeah, not the best ship. I am aware of that. So let me know what you would do and I would love to see those comments. Uh, let's get up. I also didn't check 
if we got anything worth selling. So let us go to the trade corner as well. Can we build anything? Well, I kind of don't want to dis uh, get rid of my remote detonators. These are quite important. The lodestone, not difficult to get. The unstable crystal, not difficult to get. The secure containers, those usually are annoying. Uh, if we could get some needles, three. Actually, one, then we would get ourselves like 60,000. That's not bad yeah, at all. Show me where's. Tell me you have secure containers, because that would be too good. No, that would be too good to be true. Needles? Yeah, let's get a needle. Damage singularity engine. Interesting. I think you need that for your SATA. One star crew management. Yeah, no, that's not really helpful. And uh, none of this is actually very helpful. Let's confirm. Good profit to you. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good profit to me. I agree, mate. I agree. Let's get ourselves that done. Can I help? And um, we'll just um oh actually we have one. Yeah, do I want to sell that? No, I kinda don't. Where is that thing we just made? Because now I'm completely at a loss. Well, never mind. He probably just doesn't want to. Good profit to you. Hey, you need to buy it then, doofus. Alright, um, bit of lag going on, not sure why. Let us go to the Taladi Trade Officer. Maybe he has a mission that is actually worth a while. Pilot, it is good to see. Oh, we need to buy ourselves in. Is currently seeking to increase our presence in the market. Yes, same here. To retain our lead in the market, we're offering membership to a select number of trusted individuals. This is a one-time investment. Is it ten thousand or hundred thousand? We'll have access to a number of job listings. Eighty thousand. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Very good. I'll update our database right away. You will now be able to see jobs on offer in the areas we operate. We expect good things from you. I expect good profit. I don't care what you think of me. Let's go back to our ship. Festrel, Vanguard. He's still in the way. There you go, command ship. Okay, let us quickly take a look. Tradi, trade, uh, need help. Satellite coffer, open request, prospecting. That actually is not too bad. Let's open a briefing. What kind of satellite do you want me to use? None. It doesn't give me money. It gives me some other stuff. This one actually... Wow, it's actually not bad at all. Look at that. Yeah, I'll definitely do this one. Except that. Okay, where do you want me to go? Sundock. Okay, we need to find ice. But before we can actually do that, we need to get ourselves a resource probe. Because I don't have any. And this would actually be a justified reason for me to get a few. I usually, I usually don't bother with them. So, you want me to go there, that's fine. That actually does explore some new areas. Let's go set guidance over here. And uh, autopilot, I'll meet you up there. But we're actually we're at 85 uh, minutes. Um, this might be a bit longer episode. There's not much I can trim away. I think this still is at the end going to be like 45 minutes to 50. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, like I said last time, do let me know how the quality is. I'm recording really large size right now. Uh, and the, you know, the rendering and all that, uh, that, that that's a me problem. Uh, what's going on here? Wait, I thought you had money a second ago. Did they give it to me? I think they might have. Let's take a look. Show transaction log. There we go. 
Yeah. He's transferring the money directly to me. So currently, in its a very short time that he is uh, in operation, in the 13 minutes he made us 200,000 credits. That might be better than what our um, distribution is doing currently. Uh, he's going to be buying. And you are also going to be buying. So what's the profit on you? Uh, it seems like 140. Let's say 150, 180. There is 140,000. <laughs> okay. That's not bad either. 140 per ship. How much money do we make an hour? So, can we show less? Can we can go to... Yeah, this is an hour. Uh, we made... This needs to go off. Yeah, we made one point... Still counts. Oh, man, mathematics, huh? Yeah. 1.7 million, 1.8 million an hour. So that is an increase again in this episode of uh, 100,000 credits, uh, 800,000 credits. Oh man, this station, this, this, this is such a very damn good looking system. So bright, so bright. Hope you don't mind. Um, I usually just fly like this. Taking into the scenery. I hope you do the same thing because the systems look gorgeous. Um, so before one, we are going to be wrapping off here. Uh, let me know what to do with the ship, uh, the buzzard. I think it's a buzzard, right? Let's take a quick, quick peek, quick peek. Uh, yeah, buzzard. Uh, what would you use uh, as equipment on this ship? Uh, with the relationship we have, we don't have plus 20 with Argon. We don't have plus 10 with Argon. We can't use anything of him. So it's going to be Talati. So what would you do? In, in, the, in the hope that we can actually do a bit of combat early on? Next time maybe? That would be nice. Yeah. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this particular station. Did our manager level up? Did he start leveling up? No, he didn't, but that's fine. We need to make sure that we uh, get more ships into this. But I also want a bit of a security force. We're taking things slow, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.